What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Prime ATL, and today we back with another review slash test footage. So today I want to talk about my new favorite lens, and I think in the last video I just said the 28 to 70 was my favorite lens, but I think this lens had just literally took the number one spot. And the reason why I say that is because I like doing things like this, you know, vlogging. I love an ultra wide perspective, um, and this right here can go from ultra wide to like a almost medium shot in one lens, and plus it's still great in low light. So today, I don't want to just talk y'all heads off about how great the lens is. I really hate reviews like that. I'm going to let the work speak for itself. So after we watch this video, I'm going to come back and give y'all my honest review on what I think about this lens. So after watching the test footage, let me know down below if y'all feel like this is a lens that y'all would actually grab yourself for the S5 II. And I'm not gonna lie, man, this lens is just literally mind blowing to me. It's really dope to know that I can get an ultra wide perspective and I don't have to worry about autofocus at the same time. It just literally mind blowing. Sigma has really been showing out for the L mount series. I'm not gonna lie because I really thought Panasonic native lenses would only be good with autofocus. This one is just as good. Now I did run into some issues when it comes to like zooming in the 28 to 70 to 70 millimeters. I feel like it gets confused on what's the subject or whatever in a lot of the shots. At the same time, you know, it's not a native lens so I didn't expect it to be 100% great for the price and for the quality. I still have no complaints. You can't really find too many lenses for this price point especially for the l mount series that has autofocus all of these things built in good and low light very lightweight you're not gonna pretty much find that there's a lot of people um come to my channel and ask me about autofocus all day on these cameras and i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm so used to not using it because you're talking to somebody who come from the black magic ursa mini and the um, pocket 4k and the gh5 so autofocus is non-existent to me so when it comes to how i'm supposed to set it and all of that i pretty much feel like i be using the wrong settings a lot so i, I know sometimes y'all people the autofocus be switching off of me to the wrong thing it's because i honestly don't know how to use autofocus myself because i don't use it keep that in mind when y'all be watching my videos i'm not actually the best person to come to about autofocus but at the same time if you want to see the real quality of this camera then you're in the right place but yeah man i think that's gonna pretty much be it for today i don't like to make my videos about talking too much about specs and all of that i want to get straight to the point i feel like that's what this channel is going to be about i don't want to always talk y'all heads off if y'all do like me talking let me know down below but my analytics show that y'all don't care for me talking you know what i'm saying y'all actually just like to see some great quality and get the hell on but if that's not true please let me know down below because i don't want to do things that y'all don't care for on this channel but anyway man it's your boy prime atl thanks for watching this video um if y'all would actually like to purchase this lens i got the link down below at the same time i do this channel just to help and to hopefully inspire so if, if i did help you out today and i did at least inspire you also let me know down below and um i'll see y'all in the next one